Yeah. Welcome everybody to week four of VCLCS. We got Rams of Love versus uh, Omega or Mop Mega Ope. Uh, whatever. Uh, whatever it is. Uh, Monko Omega. Omega Pepega Pepe Pepe Dupo White uh, People. I'm I'm Dane, uh, leader of Team Forehead, and I'm joined by my cohorts. <laughs> Uh, I'm Trevor, 4G. I am on forehead, 2.0. Superstar, jungler, uh, gold four prodigy. Amen. And Ready to cast. Mary is back at it again, the gold four commentator on forehead. It's a forehead stream, y'all. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a three forehead stream. Big game tonight, though. Rams love. Three head. And Mop looking to fight yeah, man. duke it out in the top spots. Mop has not lost a game yet. But they have not faced the Rams of Love. Oh, really? I did not know that. I did not know that. So six zero to five one. That's uh, exactly. It's some scary teams here. Some some heavy hitters. Now we got the draft on screen. They 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 started it without us. So we gotta they sure we gotta did. make do. Caitlin Yumi in the bot lane for Rams of Love with Diana in the mid lane. Graves in the jungle and Camille in the top for the Rams of Love. I'm not sure exactly who's going where because David Youngest Lay has been all over the map. <laughs> yep, yep. In response, there's a Shiver Morgana double spell shield lane in the bot lane playing very defensively. Actually, wait. I'm I'm confused. I feel like there's Oh no, there's so there's they said something about like Camille is Orn and okay. Yumi is Ka No, that's not right. Yeah, I, Camille is Orn and Pro draft is Scott. Something I'll weird. Just, I'll just move on. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, um but, wait till they're picked. But double spell shield bot lane is it's kind of tough to deal with, but uh, Kate and Yumi, I mean, they just want to scale up anyways, so. Uh, they don't need to really engage too hard, I guess. They're pretty happy to see us and just wait till 25. If, if that is the actual bot lane, because I'm not sure since ProDraft is. That's true, is actually, I actually don't know. Either. But the problem with this is now that. Look. Uh, like, they have weak side, top side, like two double tanks, like, what are you going to do up there? I mean, granted, this is VCU LCS and. Orns and Malphites have surprisingly large amount of solo kills going back and forth. I sure do. But tank v tank. Yeah, safe top lanes supposedly, and safe bot lanes. Like this game's just gonna go on forever, and no one's gonna do anything until they're all six items, and then fight it fights a dragon. Yeah. Okay, so it's Kane, not Kaisa. Okay, got it. Kane, not Kaisa, for their jungler on on uh, uh, Mops team. Interesting that they're sending a uh, blue scheme mid on the Diana. Uh, he's usually the support for um, for the challenger team. Um, oh. They put Preserker actually in the bot lane, um, and it looks like Youngest Lay will be on his uh, race, which is yeah, a little Lay. bit unfair. Um, <laughs> it's about fair for this game. Rigid Dice is like Rigid Dice is good, right? For, yeah, yeah. He's like a right now he's like D D two D one, but he's been Masters Grandmasters, so it's it's fairly even matchup. They know each other fairly well. Mm. Um, I'm expecting a very big brain. Uh, jungle match, which you will have to explain to me, being our resident jungler. Oh my fucking god! Please don't make me. That's like <laughs> the game I just played. It was like my fifth game of Nunu, and it's like he's like my quote unquote main. Like right now, I don't even. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I'll, don't leak strats. Don't leak strats. Yeah. Don't leak strats. I'm a genius <laughs> of. Uh, oh, you're right. I'm a genius. No, make sure, of make sure you though, ban so. Nunu first. Please ban Nunu yeah, first yeah, yeah. against us. You should just Thank ban you. me out. Uh, I play a lot of Nunu, uh, Kindred, and I love Olaf. And Graves. I love those champions. Ah, don't leave them up, guys. Stop, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, also, what, Kane? Red Kane, right? 100%? Is that, like, the only Kane to go? Or how does how does Kane work? Uh, I would Is say Blue Kane, Kane super strong, or? Blue Kane, it's kind of hard to pull off the assassination into a Yumi. <laughs> Because um, then you're really only your only target is going to be Caitlyn probably because Graves is going to have a lot of armor, Orn's going to have a lot of armor, Diana's probably going to build Stopwatch or some yeah, kind of Zonia's at some arm, point. Defensive yeah, Zonia is really good this game because it's Kane Sivir for like damage and then Cinder ult, which is that's all Zone usable, so that's that'd be a really strong buy if we see that. It's possible am... to go blue Kane, but I would definitely think red Kane is. I think red's probably better. Is better. Red is definitely better, yeah. I am mm -hmm. really liking the Berserker in the bot lane. You know, he was in the jungle. He's plot four. Um, I didn't really like his performance in the jungle, to be honest. Um, but I think he is definitely a, a, a plot support in the... And I think this will be a really interesting lane to watch. Yeah, it's super fitting, too, because, you know, his name is Berserker. Galarian Meowth, you know, for Pokemon. And he's playing Yumi. It's pretty good. It's it's 
kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy right there. It's pretty good. I mean, their lane's going to be kind of challenging against Sivir Morgana. I mean, Morgana, yeah. like, Sivir can just spell shield the Yumi Q. Uh, they can, it's going to be, they're going to have a lot better of a time at level six, uh, but they also could just get run down by Sivir Morgana. You never know. I, like, if Morgana hits a Q, right, and like we're, pre, and we're pre six, like what happens? Is it is it doomed? Like, does Kate just get popped or not enough damage? Or what do you think about that? Hmm, uh, I... Might be doomed. I Aren't think it's doomed? doomed, unfortunately, yeah. It's a lot of damage, but, I think. But Kate is a very, very safe ADC, so I would not expect to see a lot of um, yeah, Morgana yeah, Qs yeah. hit hit them and then That's, the Sivir be yeah. in a range. I think if she gets hit by Q, it's it's uh, it's, it's pretty troll. Pretty bad. Um, but, I mean, you know, it's... it's, it's it'll happen. Uh, Ryan's a good Morgana player. Um, oh, okay. The follow-up from Sivir is pretty good with a, with a Q. Like, it kind of guarantees both. Yeah. Getting the double, double Q is right. like... Oof. Yeah, especially oh, later, like kind of like or like level five, or you get a few points into it, and it starts to really chunk. I think no, I, I really don't play mid. So this like Syndra Diana matchup, like if Syndra presses E even without a ball, does that push away Diana yes. when she dashes in? It can, yes. Oh, it can. Okay. The, the okay. ball, the ball only stuns. Like the pushback uh, is always going to push. Always back. there. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So, Syndra definitely can get popped. Like, yeah, but you know, she also can bully out that Diana. Her Q is on a lot shorter sure. cooldown. Oh yeah, it's yeah range versus melee. I didn't even I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so yeah, it's a little also, bit of an advantage there. So Diana is going to need to have a yeah. weather the storm a little bit early and get get her her farm in. Get level six, then she has a lot more uh, damage threat with uh, whatever the alt is called when pulls them in. Make it very easy for Graves. I'm gonna like guess Graves... Moonlight Assault. Let me let me see. Yeah, as casters, we're supposed to know this stuff, but you know, I, yeah, I don't right, want to read all that much. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's called oh. Moonfall. That's so lame. The Spectre so Jelly is over. We get to. Oh, it's time. It's game time. It's time. You think there's gonna be any cheese? Any uh, five man running it in? Uh, I would some red buffs. I wouldn't think I don't so. I don't think so. Neither of them have really good. Yeah, really like good start. More like the only thing I can see is maybe a more on Q, but I, I don't think it's a great invade into yeah, yeah. into Orange. So much but... damage, it's a lot of damage there. You know what too I'm thinking about is uh Youngest Lay actually has like a pretty pretty big advantage for this early game. Like he can really, really make something happen if he can kinda pop off here at the beginning of the game. Cause yeah, he can, like... cause like if he can out farm Kane out and like match him at ganks, like Graves will always be like ten times stronger than early game pre form Kane. Agreed. Right? Like, but his his gank his, his his lanes are a lot harder to gank. Like Diana doesn't yeah, really have yeah. any CC to level six. Yeah. Caitlyn Yumi only have has like a, a slow. Tr yeah, true. Orin is probably the best, but into a Malphite as Graves is probably not the greatest place to go. He probably can pull it off, but with the the elo disparity but it's probably mm -hmm. not the the most time efficient so i'm expecting him to do a lot of a lot of farming a lot of counter ganks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking like the best play for kane right is to probably just go top to farm some stacks off that orn so if lay meets him up there like that's a really easy early double kill maybe like he's that's probably his mid. best lane to gank at the beginning he's got options mid lane as well since then yeah. will give you red stacks since she is melee Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I and do not know about out. the double exhaust um, on the uh, Monka Makeup oh. of Mega Poggers team. Um, yeah. I guess it's very good against Diana, um, but do you really need to exhaust? Like, who else are you can exhaust? Like Graves. Yeah, I guess it's like and Diana's gonna fly in, and then Graves is gonna fly in. Is I guess what they're thinking, but I gotta make sure they coordinate that too. They also, they're very gonna... maybe heal cut, like big time. I'm also thinking, like, just so you have an exhaust up at all times. <laughs> Anytime yeah. Diana wants to go in, there's always one, an exhaust just waiting for her. This just seems like a situation where people put the exhaust on uh, the same person, or they misclick and put it on two different people. Yeah, let's at the see. Same let's time. keep our eyes peeled. See what happens. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, okay. Five point and five point? Yeah. Okay. Here Hope we go. Be. No, no early. I know Youngest Leia likes his his early wards in the Raptors are red side, so he's I think he's looking for that. But Red Dice has placed a ward, so he'll spot him out if he wants to do that. I'm expecting it to come out soon, if at all. The like Kane is a little out of the base. Um. No, he uh he went 
towards a. He placed that ward top on his oh, own. Oh, I chicken. see. And he backed and got the uh, yeah. super. It's a good idea. Cause I I don't see I don't know much about that. I I know that the first game I played, uh, someone said, oh, he like didn't go ward the Raptors, and he should have bought he didn't buy a sweeper. Oh, oh what? And I was like, oh shit, I should probably go do that. <laughs> and then so that's all I know now. So that's a pretty good strat. Cause if you know they're gonna probably go invade to put, uh, you know, a ward down on your Raptors, you can just you'll be able to know, and maybe you can you'll know to be able to go vertical jungle or whatever. They're deciding against so They might want to. I think they might be looking for the red buff. Yeah, it's gonna be late invade here. But they are gonna get spotted on that ward, so. Yeah, they do get spotted out. Good, good idea. Good, good placement. Nice. Okay. So, I guess Kane is probably just gonna go straight to his red buff, or the you know the Graves' red buff. Yeah, he's gonna take the blue and go to the red buff. Mm -hmm. He can make it over the wall fairly easily. There is also a ward in just outside the blue, uh, blue side's red buff as well. So they All will the first trick of the game. I like it. Swing and a miss. Good start. So they know that they're, 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 both teams know where the jungle is at, the, at this point, which yep, yep, big brain. Graves looking for the level two gank, but uh, Syndra on smartly positioned inside the lane. So, and I'm getting the stream at a at a crisp 144 FPS, so I may miss a few things here. Uh, the jungles are fighting out. each other. Oh yeah, cool. what do we want here? Getting started. That's oh, always with the Yumi, big like, damage. Flash comes out, exhaust as well. Kane Kane saw his flash here, right? He does but not. But here comes he the Severe Morgana to come oh, behind. Used it already? Oh first my blood. gosh, the first, first blood. blood. Over. The Can he get out? Though? This is a big collapse. Yeah, okay. The trade. I like it too. This... I believe the you Yumi can... will no, live here. Okay. She got it. She got it in time. Jeez. Big bully Orn, oh my god. Clap. Yeah, Orn's got a lot of damage in his kit. He really does. He really has so much damage. Like, jeez. It's, it but is. he doesn't really have a big farm lead. He's been bullying out the the okay, yeah, the Malphite and damage. So the... But he, he does not actually have a farm lead because Malphite's gonna collect at least some of that wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kate's just able to poke when more kind of walks up. No big deal. Hopefully she can stay safe. Uh, waves. Orange really pushed up. Kane's still bought though. They both have to kind of catch up on their farm with yeah. each other. Both kind of going tough. for the early fight, getting the first blood. Yeah, yeah. And now we're gonna have another fight over the scuttle crab. Let's get it a camera oh, move a little bit. That looks like Kane just gives I it think... over to the graves. Actually, I don't know. Maybe Kane smited it away. I'm not sure. Uh, no, uh, did get it. Another fight for top crab, dude. Crab fights are really fun. I didn't realize it was like a such a big deal. I kind of knew it was a big deal, but I thought it was less of a big deal than when crab first came out. You know what I mean? You remember that? When Crab was like, if you didn't go to first yeah. Crab, you were like just trolling your jungler or something? Because I think usually... Ooh, before... wow. Whew. Clap. Great knockup by the Orn. Oh my god, but he, uh, the he damage actually got will traded, be traded back. back. And the Kane's here too, so he's going to have to commit. Ooh, oh, flash perfect flash! Cut out of the auto! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, that's good. That's good for right side. Like, that's exactly what they want. A few stacks on Kane. Uh, kill on the Orn before he gets... Too incredibly outscaling, like, not bad. They're doing a really good job of poking out the Sivir and Morgana in the bot mm -hmm. lane. Yeah, Sivir takes a little while to get uh, get going. But needs needs some time to scale. Warren going right back to the trading, which just got him killed. Yeah, I mean, Can again, Malphite kind of just even that up. When Malph gets his shield back, too. Like, oh. No, this Lay nice will be too. answering top lane. Oh. Right, camera, like, let's get to the action. Start to camp, please. Okay, I'm gonna start. This camera is, is, is angering me. I will be on. You think you know better than, than the <laughs> computer game? Uh, it, More stacks! It's, it's, a lot, it's a lot harder, but Graves did get both scuttles if you didn't see that earlier. Yep, yep. Now here he goes. He's back on a clear. Is he? No, no, no. It's too risky. Uh, Sums, so Mouth still has flash down. But Orn has his up, so he should be pretty safe, even if he's going to stay pushed in now. Up till, you know, mouth six. Especially with Kane going back down bottom. So it should be pretty pretty slow in the top lane, I hope. <laughs> I hope not, not that too much is going on I, for a little bit. I doubt it. Like, Tora has been wanting to fight this entire uh, time, and I don't yeah. think he's going to stop. One death will not stop him. Nope. And now he knows that uh, 
But uh, Kane is on the other side of the map. He's probably going to look forward to. You might want to look for when he is level 6 so you can get the triple brittle. Mm -hmm. The triple brittle? Is that uh, like an orange strat? I don't know the orange strats. It is. Because you can. Because uh, his W procs the brittle once, like the ending of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just. Oh! No, oh. direct to kill, please! I'm sorry. I, that was me. No, it's okay. It was not. Oh, it, was oh. it was you. Yeah, me. I'm you sorry. thought I'm you knew sorry. better than me, didn't you, Dave? Oh my gosh. I wanted That's to see right. the because they're going. They're, they're going to the same side of the map. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. I didn't think he was just gonna fucking this is the cast great at level over six. to um to blue side though, because both the mid lane and the bot lane have priority over their respective leaners. So uh, I would like. I think the youngest lay is gonna try to take up the mountain drake uh, he after he finishes the camp. The only problem is he doesn't know where Kane is exactly at yeah. this moment. They have no wards in the enemy jungle, so he might be a little bit feared. He knows he has yeah. a push and mid lane push as well, so he may start it. Hey, he's gonna do it now because they just got the blue cone on there. So like a Trevor play, like I totally like I love just like we could have just I would have just gone over like not knowing where Kane was and be like, oh yeah, this is like fine. I think I have no idea. That's and how I would have just been well. half HP in the in the pit. And then everyone shows up. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, huh? You guys were here the whole time? He but... takes the, the scuttle first and then goes to the drag. Yeah, I don't know if they saw Kane top and that's why he did that, but... No, I think he's just assuming Kane is top since he, he yeah. sees that his blue, that Kane's blue and Gromp are not up. Right. Right. Poke out from oh. this lane. Oh, here comes the Morgana Q, but uh, server's not yeah. there to follow up. Good poke out by yeah, actually... Wagoner on the Caitlyn. I'm using like... the range disadvantage. Yeah, getting more queued doesn't matter at all. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's free damage for blue side apparently, so that's that's pretty good. Caitlyn with the range, man. It's 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 hard. It's hard. Ooh, Caitlyn will hit level six pretty soon. Yeah, it's a little scary. Unfortunately, Silver can just spill shield it with her E, but maybe if, if you can bait that out. Beforehand, they just use the the E. Yeah, like a Q ult from Caitlyn will just put so much pressure on. Oh. <laughs> Low mana though, actually, probably can't cast Q at all or ult at all because it's like a hundred mana. It's some, it's like a large amount of mana, I think. Oh, they're both pretty oom. Luckily, yeah. junglers are top side, so that's not. They're gonna be okay, but they do get the push. So if they clear this okay. wave, that's good. They'll, have, that's good. they'll get the advantage. They'll, they'll get the CS. Um, Mop will lose. Lose out on the bot lane wave, but oh. taking the top lane. Oh, misses the oh, ult. Oh, no. Okay. But he um, no. Maybe he can get a return kill on this Malphite. The minions. Huh. Uh, well, he's he's just moved up as well. He might be dead as well. Wait, he's dead. The yep. challenger jungle he's falls, dead. but they he did does. use a lot of abilities on him. I'd say it's worth though getting two a, two more kills and now a thousand gold lead. Yeah, it's a big early game lead. Uh, does Orn have TP? He does no, not. Does he used it earlier to get back after yeah. he died the first time. Orin taking a lot of aggressive trades and not really respecting yep. the jungle, coming, being able to come up and murder him with Malphite ult. Uh, does he have wards down in the jungle? I don't, I didn't see. I wasn't he checking, but... has one in his tri bush, but uh -huh. oh, he, it's kind of hard to ward against Kane because Kane can like run through walls. He can do that. <laughs> he can just run right through him. Kane is on the Rift Herald. Yeah, killing top and the jungle gives him some time, but he might not be able to finish it in time. Let's see. I think Younger Slay is worried about it. And he gets there first. Oh, oh, he oh, oh, oh my goodness! He missed it. He pulled the he pulled the 4G missile. He pulled the oh, my god. <laughs> oh my god! That was some excellent uh, challenge. I would never miss that technical plate. <laughs> 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 I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I hope to God, like our last game of the season, like I just hit like every smite, oh. and you guys can oh. be proud of me. Nami. Oh, All that's really up. big because she actually doesn't have W for a little while still. I feel like now with Morgul, I think Kate dies oh, no. here, hundred yeah. percent. Oh, that is really wow. unfortunate. Kate did lose the range advantage there. Um, with I... the Morgul. More Q hit Yumi, right? Like I don't know. Yes. Yumi was like yeah. detached, and then it hit. Like that was a really good more Q, I think, that set that up. Because once once Yumi's rooted, they change it so that you know it's like she can't reattach or whatever, even if it, yeah. if it was on cooldown. Youngest oh, Slay will die to the ult and the Kane Q. Oh my god! That is a big fat shutdown see? on Diana. Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Diana. Diana. <laughs> Blue too Steve, deep. The, the support, uh, the former support, uh, gets it. killed in the middle lane. Oh my god, now they're getting poked out. shutdown. And yep. you do want that kind of money on Diana. Oof. Oh, um, the whiff! That could have been it. Only oh, Kane! He canceled the orange charge, actually, that would have killed him. 
That was awesome. And he dies. Oh, no, oh, that was no. actually so sick. Holy shit. That was really, really cool. Wait, is this East Pro? I'm sorry. Holy shoot. Yeah, you, no, you can uh, take it. You can cuss. Uh, yeah, holy shit. Lo Lokesh, that was sick. Lokesh isn't here. Lokesh isn't here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no, Malfoy. all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> Malfoy canceling the Orn E into the wall that I think would have knocked him up and done enough damage that Orn could have just autoed him and killed him, but that was, like, that was insane. That was, like, probably the most mechanical Malfight play you can do. But now the jungle is here and gets the flash out, but. It's good that he saw a flash. He will no drive way. him under the tower. Oh, the weight? Wow. The, really, the perfect weight to figure out is he going to stop? Is he going to keep walking in a circle? So you're gonna walk back. That was good. That's some challenger play right there. Make sure it doesn't whip that ult. And really trying to keep oh, him in the game here. Mid lane's looking kind of kind of doomed at the moment. Down how much gold? A lot of gold with another jungle gank here. But gets a nice double alt off. Oh, sure. a lot of damage coming in. Oh, and the cane ult's still going. Nah, yeah, the cane's still full health. Yep. Has his form yep. now. Cane's getting scary. Cane's getting scary. And we're seeing some 700, 800 gold leads in the mid and top lane. As well as a small lead in the jungle. Bot lane's fairly even. Actually, there, there's there's slight uh, advantages all over the map, actually. Now that I look at it. Uh, red side? Yes, for... Like, the, the 3,000... Like, the... the what, 2,000 gold lead is pretty much... 200, like, a few hundred gold in each person's pocket. Like, no one person has, like, a big lead. Just everyone has an incremental lead. Uh, I'm sorry, Dane, what time is it in the game? I'm at 144. 144? I'm at 12. 144 uh, uh, frame. I don't know, my frames are bad, and my resolution uh -huh. is bad. I'm at 1245. 1245? Yeah, I think uh, the Yumi only has four ward score. Oh, but red team has slain the dragon, and youngest lay will die to the Syndra. Tries 50 -50 to get the steal, smite, but... jumps in, tries to get the steal, doesn't go his way. Uh, sacrifices his life. I don't know if he needed to do that. I think he thought he was probably okay because he had the blast cone, so he was able to blast cone over and then maybe E out. But I'm not sure. I didn't really see if he. I pretty probably got CC'd by like a cane knockup or something. And then boom, 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 just kind of blasted yeah, by everyone you know, in the pit. Everyone, everyone in there, like four people being there, just like, oh, free, yeah, money, free, free money. Yep, yep. Yeah, now, that, might be, that might be 11 ward score on the Yumi. It looks like it's one. That's or four. I think it's one. one. I think okay, eleven four? for Yumi would be ridiculously high. Honest to God. Yumi has an extra has, has one word in her pocket right now. That's where that one is coming from. I see. Uh, okay. Okay. I think Red, Red Side is doing a really good job at warding uh, the map. Uh, Blue Side has some has some good uh, points as well. Um, but I don't think Yogi Slay has enough vision to vote. But he's well. He's going for the. Whoa. Map. Morgan's ult, Morgan's ult. I think. Th oh, no, but Leandro's lazy here to clean it. Yeah. They lose oh, the cane. Oh, oh and top side. Yeah, oh, my they, gosh. They, they see. <laughs> so uh, ooh, they see really uh, Youngest Lane in the bot lane. Mm -hmm. So, Regidice knows he's free to gank top lane with his now completed Sunfire Malphite. He can yeah. dive turret kind of whenever he wants. They only went one for one bot lane. They didn't end up getting the Morg there, even though it was close. But they. Maybe get this turret. I don't think they. They did not get it in time. They do. Yeah, though. they get through it. They get through it. Oh, the red, the red team got first. first. Oof. Oof. So yeah, still more, still advantages towards red side. Yeah, Two kills true. there. First blood turret. Better than yeah, one. They're trying turret. to make the plays, but just being answered yeah. every time by Red Dice yeah. and having more of an impact on the cane than the Graves is at the moment. But Graves does scale fairly yeah. well. They're both, they're both in there, you know what I mean? Like, Kane just got a few camps in his blue side, too, so it was a good little steal. But, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's hard. He's running around the map. Like, they're both running, sprinting around this map, trying to look for anything, counter jungle yep. each other and trade. So strong. The, I I hope the Diana there. just cannot move. And here comes the Morgana ult. Morg have stop oh, one. Yep. We're not coming out of Too much well. damage. Uh, okay, jukes it. Ooh, but Has the flash, but a really well placed W from Kane. Clips him on the end. Wow, and that again, I think red team's looking good here. They get mid turret, they can go to rift if they want. Um, get some vision down in the jungle. They they have full control right now. And that is rough. It's gonna be rough for blue side. 
yeah, starting to starting to clearly see the advantages of, of uh, Mop at the moment. Having a, a numbers advantage, getting the extra kill, like it, it, it hasn't been like a dominating victory or uh, game so far. Like it's been more of like they're trading, and then Mop has been getting more. Yeah, it's it's they they probably traded like kills or whatever across the map like three or four times, but every time it's been red favored, and they're up uh, the kills. I mean, the kills on the board, it's like. Actually, showing a bigger difference than that, even. 14 to 4. Whoa! Did she flash in? Did Kate just flash in there? I think so. More oh, fights man. coming out, but. We misclicked. A double exhaust coming in, and that's a young, dead youngest lay. Oh this my gosh. Oh man. Worse. That. Yeah, that is really rough for them, because now they have Rift and they can drop. I think he just backed with it, actually, but. Wow. Yeah, I think, I think Kate flashed into the cane there? I don't know. Uh, there definitely could have been a play there. I'm not sure if it was like a flash E to get like, you know, a crit and kill him, but uh, 144 FPS. I'd like to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, and, uh, doubt. and I think uh, he was going to go for a, a flash E trap play and yeah, it was a hot major play. damage was onto, onto the cane. He trying wasn't trying to, to give them a double kill with the Yumi. Trying to make his auto attacks be, uh, reach the cane <laughs> quicker. <laughs> yeah. Less yeah, distance yeah, yeah. to travel, you know? Yep. Yeah. And now we got Drake coming up pretty soon. Um, Dan, what's the, can you give me the Drake report? That is like the most fuzzy bit for me. I can't. I cannot see who has what Drakes. Uh, it is one to one right now. One to one. Uh, okay. Mop has a, a Infernal, and um, Rams of Love have a Mountain Soul or Mountain Drake. It's an Ocean Drake coming up in twenty seconds. Ocean is crazy for red team. With, yeah, I mean, with... just even just for Kane, like it. It is nuts. Kane, Kane will be pretty much unkillable, even and with his huge lead as well. Like, man, that's gonna be tough. He's already fairly unkillable. Yeah. yeah yep. And now they have to do this Rift Herald, so they can get full vision control, 100%. Youngest Lady's trying to take what he can up in the top side jungle, I think. And while Orin's pushing that down, he's got TP for the fight, so. I think they're uh, Orin this. can make it. They know they know they're yeah, down they're a lot. They just need to keep farming up. Like, Graves needs his Black Cleaver. Oh. Um. Uh, Caitlyn needs her second item. Diana needs another item. Waiting for the Rod of Ages to stack up. So it's it's okay to go this dragon. It's it's only the second one. They're still at ten minutes at um, max away from getting the soul. So you don't gotta worry too much about that yet. So you have, you have they gotta have trade time. for top turret with that. Yeah, that's perfectly that's, that's fine. But now they gotta get out of here. They might be staying too long. Kane and Syndra have moved up. Malphite is TP. Uh, they're kind of right behind, but they might be looking for a here. fight. Orn has no E now. And his flash, his flash is up though, so I think he's just dead. Yeah, sacrifice. Yeah, he's just gonna die for it. Yep. Blood sacrifice for the top lane turret. Stay a little bit long. Four. They stay four. You see four in the top lane. Hopefully your uh, your Caitlyn takes mid tower or pushes out bot here. But it's so hard to push. Never wave clear. Yeah, super wave clear. I think stuffed her out. We didn't see it, but I can only imagine that she just W'd the wave and queued it once, and it was just you know that's the power of Sivir. I mean, for real, you can send your whole team four stack, and she can handle herself. It's it's really nice to have on your team. Even though she's maybe not the best ADC, the most damage output, but you know she, you, she's utility for a reason. That's the utility. It's really, really good in certain cases. So, what do you think um, uh, uh, the win condition is for both of these teams? Um, for red side, it's kind of more of the same. Use the your Syndra Malphite strength as long as uh, as well as your Kane follow up to find picks around the map. You don't really got to do anything fancy. Like you're you're seven thousand gold ahead. With a very good team fighting comp, just group is five. Make sure you get the dragons. Uh, team fight effect, or just make sure you're not split in team fights. Where um, blue side definitely needs a pick, like they have found right now, finding uh, good numbers on one side of the map. But Baron is coming up soon. And no way! Oh my god! Oh no! This could have been a great pick. Oh, it's a good shutdown to go on a youngest light for sure. But and, you know, I, you know, if they can stall at the Baron, maybe it's. Maybe it's not they that need bad. to Maybe move up crazy. there immediately. They sent three down here and is dying fairly quickly. Graves is walking up. Diana is not, but does have the TP coming up. It is oh. not. The TP is now up. But Graves is going to be a little bit late. Ornall comes in to try to stall. It's all four. Spell shield. Two knocked up. It's, it's a great for sure. Yeah. But they might now I, think, this. I think they get a kill on this horn here. Yeah, it's a little late on the Diana TP as well. Not that it was late, but the decision to fight was a little bit late. Maybe. So you can maybe come clean up with Young's Lane in the back line. I get two okay, items. that's a huge oh, ult. That's, that's really huge. Huge ult. Oh, oh, and a Q snipe on the back line. Yumi trying to keep Graves alive best she can. Not enough, though. Kane healing oh, is like... going absolutely crazy, and that is 
So sad. But, yep, that's Fed Kane. 100%, that's some Fed Kane right there. Ooh, it's only going to get worse. Yeah. We have a Bramble Executioners. Oh, man. There's another Executioners now. I think okay. Siver, or I think uh, Caitlyn just got the Executioners. Cause yeah, I think, she, I think she just bought it when she's dead. Yeah. Oh, man. They, not, they needed it before, because once the Graves went down, they didn't no longer have the Gravest Wounds onto the cane, and he was able to just run through that entire oh, team fight, man. being at 1 yeah, HP. like crazy. Being an Aatrox player, best I know how it going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a good feeling. <laughs> yeah. It's very frustrating, frustrating to play against, since, like, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, he's not dying! And then he murders everyone. And he just goes for it. Got Tropico there. Like, and, I mean, Ocean Soul will, will, I mean, no amount of executioners or Grievous Wounds will stop Kane with an Ocean Soul, or Kane with, you know, even just two Ocean Drakes, like, it, it, it'll be, I think, almost too much. Uh, I personally don't like Yumi um, in the jungle with Graves. I think she should be in some side lane mm. play with her ADC, uh, getting some XP so that um, she can level up her heal a little faster. Uh, and here comes oh, the yeah. onto I Wagoner. Dead. Get the knockup, and he's dead. Is that blue king? Oh, it's red king? That oh, is dead. red king. This is kind of hard to see. <laughs> yeah, but they see can't... youngest lay here. The king is no, coming from behind. Because that was a little pop. Oh, flash over the wall for that. There's a lot of damage in return, though. We're getting run yeah, down by the sure. cane. Has the Yubi to heal him up and zoom him out. But Kate is still dead for this dragon. Oh, Actually, no, the dragon's up in a minute. Kate will be up, but... Oh, they look we for have... the re-engage with the Oh! oh. Is it big? Black shield on the Sivir. Not getting her knocked up. She's still able to queue on the fight. Kane's just running through them in the back line. Oh, just kidding. Graves is running through them on the back line. Oh, man. Another pop. Uh, Red Team's coming up now that the team joined him. Was able to kill Yannis on the back. Yeah, Grave, Graves oh. is much easier to kill than this. Another huge... triple? Oh my god. I think Graves Oh, is... oh! Sorry. They will get... Oh, oh, does it get blocked? I think this... <laughs> they might look to end here. They have... They have they uh... I think he... They might... The Malphite. Malphite could tank here, and... Oh, this might be the game. I think this is the game, I mean... I believe oh this is the game. Oh, word. Goodbye. Wow. Oh, Goodbye, oh my god, wow. Yeah. Pop too fast for me to say anything. Wow. Or us to say anything. Diana G &G. is up now. Graves is up too in five seconds. They, they need to kill this turret quickly. Uh, I think they can do it. They focus it down. Actually, it's a little scary. They no longer have minions. This could oh, be they don't have they have to Oh, the exhaust fight. comes onto Youngest Lay. The exhaust. Oh, come this on, direct the camera. Right. A little bit okay. higher. A little bit higher. Uh, they're just going to get the Orn, and that's, that's about it. Everyone else yep. is super low. But... Shut down onto... Youngest Lay gets the kill. That's a lot of money onto the graves. Mm -hmm. yeah, Wait, is Reginald backing? Is he with Sivir? Oh, no, they, okay, okay. I guess they're looking for something cheeky in the jungle instead of just taking the ocean. It's it's a fine play, I guess, to go to Bushwhack, but look, they went the wrong way, so they didn't have the bottom side warded, so they don't actually see him going to check. <laughs> check Drake. They do know something's wrong there. Oh, no. There, there they find him. I got him. <laughs> he walks right into the three man. Oh, maybe he, he walked over ward, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, that's a kill, and a double, and a free ocean, and a free whatever else they want. I think Actually, it's the end. end. Uh -huh. uh, like Graves, Graves is like their only real threat. Like, Orn doesn't really do any damage to Kane. Uh, like Orn actually just heals Kane. Kane, or... Whoa. Uh, what am I saying? Kate does not have enough uh, attack speed to actually deal much to the Kane. But, good response. Trying to kill off the, oh. the less... Prejudice? Oh, Orn. the Orn. Prejudice is not peeling for his team and is instead going for it. Doesn't I matter. I they're ending the game. <laughs> well, yeah. Doesn't matter, I, yeah. I think. Graves is up in 10 seconds. This game is over. <laughs> Dancing on it. DP in. Oh, get the KDA. Get oh, the KDA. canceled him. Pad the KDA. Uh, and that's that. A wow, really, really clean game. A monster performance coming out from Regidice. Mm -hmm. on this Absolutely. Game. Huge man. Huge man. Unkillable. Like, just unkillable. Yeah, no answers coming out from uh, the Rams of Love. Jeez. Damage. Oh, damage. Almost That's looks like my damage charts. Uh, <laughs> Almost. Uh, oh man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's something. I mean, he was. I mean, he was like one v three the whole back half of that game. So <laughs> it makes sense to me. He was hitting some good W's. Like he was getting plenty of healing back from all the spells. Like he was earning it. So props to him. Big props. 21,000 damage in healing. Or he, in healing. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're not even the team with the Yumi. That's nuts. That is nuts. I feel like I feel like Kate Yumi were doing okay bot lane, but 
once the cane got involved, it was kind of doomed after that. Yeah, it was way yeah. too hard to, to get off that. I think the Orin didn't didn't respect their jungle and didn't uh, thought it'd be an easier matchup going against their uh, their top laner, and he just got ganked and you know cane cane. Um, okay, but Orin picked it back up with these control wards. As far as warding goes, to make sure he doesn't get killed, but <laughs> I do like SMH ADC, ADC players by one, please. By no, one, ADC, ADCs can get away with it. Other other lanes do not. <sighs> That's why our team has three supports on it, man. Exactly. Yeah. But, well, wait, vision... are we a five support team? We might be a five support team. It's close. Close. Then you then um, you play top, right? Like, is it support secondary, or you used to play a lot of support? I, I oh yeah, you used to play Alistar, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. So, close. do we have an interview? Um, uh, no, I'm, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of interviews unless someone really wants to, but it doesn't look like it. No, no one's messaged me for interview, so I'm going to call it here. Thanks okay. for everyone for coming out. Uh, thanks for, thanks Trevor and Mary for trying out casting. It was, it was fun. Oh yeah. We got, yeah. Some things to, we got some things to work on, but, uh, overall <laughs> good start. Goodbye cool. everybody. Peace. Bye y'all.